shall not pass. <laughs> I think I practiced that way too many times. Because now my voice, <laughs> uh, my voice feels a little like scratchy now. So I guess we'll have to make this intro short. I don't, I don't know if you guys like the long intros or not. When I kind of go deep into the deck, but I just kind of ramble for a while. So <laughs> hopefully we'll keep this a little bit short. But What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Redemption with Jaden. This week, we've got another Lackey Grand Prix game, which is round three out of four. I think I said in previous videos that it was five. I was under the impression it was five. That's what we've done with previous Lackey Grand Prix, or at least, like, the most recent one, the one before this, which was before Nationals. So, you know, it's, who even remembers that? But, um, we're only doing four this time, I think. So, that means that next week I'm going to have to, like, get the last themes that I haven't done yet, like, uh, I haven't done demons, and, I mean, I, I guess, like, I, oh, I haven't done nativity, oh, man, so I gotta do those two, and, like, I haven't done angels yet, but I kinda did them this week, a little bit, and I definitely did the Herods this week, so we got at least that one, uh, I don't know, maybe... Maybe we'll have to, like, combine Nativity and Angels together somehow next week. Or maybe Nativity can just be the first round of Top Cut. I don't know, this is throwing me off. I thought I was going to have five weeks to go through all of GOC Phase 2, but... Uh, oh well. well. We'll just have to, you know, make it into Top Cut and then get a game in there. <laughs> so anyways, what was that whole intro about? Uh, well, last week the, the Lord of the Rings reference seemed to work, so I figured I'd go with that again, go with one of the notable moments that I feel like this deck kind of wants to have that kind of attitude of, like, you're not getting through, because as you can see, we're pretty light on offense and pretty heavy on defense here. We've got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 evil characters, or really 12, because you can count Scapegoat in that too, because this is actually a relatively important card in the deck. We have 12 evil characters in the main deck, 2 in the reserve, like, that's that's usually flip-flopped, or that's flip-flopped from where we usually are looking to be, like, you know, usually it's like 10 or 11 heroes, and then maybe, you know, like 5 to 7 evil characters, something like that in a... In a typical deck these days, um, we're going defensive heavy, switching the things, switching things around. And in order to fit all of this in here, since I still kind of wanted to have a sizable offense, and I, I mean, sizable, it's pretty small, but and I had a lot of utility cards. Then ended up at 57, and then right before I played the game with Jeremy, which uh, I'll, I'll mention later on. Um, I can just mention it now, I guess. <laughs> the game's with Jeremy Chambers. Um, but right before we played the game, I was like, you know, I should probably have a better way to get to Chamber of Angels. And so I added Reverence and Awe, which ended up, I think, being a, a good call. But I have to figure out what card to cut now to get it back to 57 at some point. 58 is still legal this way, but, uh, you know, because we're still... With eight lost souls, you can have 57 cards to up to 63. But you know, of course, you want to optimize it, so we gotta you gotta figure out what card to take out so we can keep 57 cards with those eight lost souls and you know, eight dominance. More importantly, but actually, having eight lost souls is kind of nice with all these great lost souls that are out there. And so, anyways, let me know what you guys think I should I should cut here. Maybe watching the game will help you decide. But, um, yeah, let's start with the defense, because that's where we're going to... That's that's kind of the focus for, for this video. Um, Herods are really strong, and part of the reason I wanted to play defensive heavy is because, like, I just wanted to use as much of the Herods stuff as I could, as much as possible, as much, as, as much of the new stuff as I could squeeze in. So we've got... Almost all the Herods in the deck or in the reserve. So we've got Herod Agrippa the first, Herod Archelaus, Herod Philip the second, and Herod the Great, and then Herod Antipas ended up in reserve. Herod Agrippa the second was in here initially back when I was thinking like, okay, I'll put High Priest Ananias in, we'll put in Priest of Zeus, splash in just a little bit of black, and you know get that synergy with Herod Agrippa the second and some Sadducees. Well, it didn't really 
it didn't end up being cohesive enough, I guess, in my opinion. Um, and I had to cut cards anyway, so I was like, yeah, I think this is probably where we're going to trim things down a little bit and then really focus in on the Herods. And a big thing is when you're playing defensive heavy, like offenses are just so strong where they have a lot of guaranteed rescues that it like doesn't matter what defense you have. Um, so it's important to have like add to battle stuff. Like Sheol is kind of the most important there. And, and Jeremy and I mentioned this, like uh, um, we, we talk a little bit about you know, the game and, and the decks and stuff after the game. And, you know, uh, I bring this up how I you know, kind of floated the idea by Tyler because you know, he's the, the D heavy king and D heavy king. Hmm. I, I, that does kind of roll well. Yeah. I was thinking if there was like a better name, like maybe like the, the D heavy chief or no, I don't D heavy king. We'll go with that. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, he just put out a video up on a, his D heavy deck last week. And that was actually why I was kind of like, okay, well, all right, here, here's the D heavy deck I've been working on. What do you think? And he was like, he kind of came to the, con or I mean, he, he said, he confirmed the conclusion that I was coming to like, yeah, I think I really need Sheol and having those splashed cards in there just, uh, doesn't really, you know, help with that. So wearing my jacket, I gotta show off my flowery shirt. Um, but it's kind of cold, Minnesota. Yay. Uh, so yeah, shield still in there, still good. And Herod's have uh, a few ways to search it out too, which is nice. But I did include wages in here, even though it's off color, just so I could. That was like one of the kind of black splash cards that I ended up keeping because I felt like I had enough evil characters that could play it. Um, you know, Deceiver, Outcasts, Outsiders, Foreign Wives, and Scapegoat, like I mentioned before. Defensive heavy decks, you probably just want to run Scapegoat. Uh, especially if you're running defensive heavy with the win conditions, I guess there's a few of them, uh, that I am running. But before we get to that, let's, let's finish up with the defense. Uh, Herod's Guard, really good. Um, that's like, that's, that's going to be one of your MVPs. Uh, he can probably replace Deceiver in most Herod's defenses. Like, y you probably don't need both of them. But since I'm defensive heavy and a little bit bigger of a deck, then I kind of wanted to have both just to guarantee, well, you know, all but guarantee that I could get to one of them on turn one, especially with, like, Lawless and Dull and Darkness. Kind of just, you know, get to uh, one of these two so I can, you know, get to Herod the Great or, you know, get to one of these two to have that good like protection block on the first turn or go to outsiders on turn one is is also pretty good later in the game we've got characters like Herodias to stop your opponent from going to the reserve which is like uh, a really great block like your opponent put all the uh, you know some of their best cards in reserve to access later in the game if you can restrict access to those and if you've been, like, reserving cards with, um, you know, some of your star abilities, like Contagious Fear or something like that, you know, she's, uh, she's pretty strong, and she's kind of why I think there will be a lot of, like, gold-gold decks trying to get that reserve milling once, um, you know, people really figure out NT Gold and, like, how to make it, uh, you know, more <laughs> impactful than, than most mill decks. I think right now it's still just lacking a little bit of that oomph or kind of that, that speed to actually, you know, mill things before your opponent just decks out. There's nothing left to mill. So uh, another late game card is Merchants of the Earth, which is uh, kind of an underrated card that hasn't really seen much play since Revelation of John came out. Like, I think uh, I, I saw it a little bit shortly after it came out, but it's just not, there just wasn't enough for it to go to. Like, gold evil NT enhancements, just there haven't been enough of those around to really make it worth it, and none that are, like, good at least. I mean, I guess Abandonment's been a while, around for a while, and it's decent, but um, now there are definitely good targets for it. Uh, probably the best being Futile Inquisition, and you can just use Merchants to kind of pseudo-infinitely have a stalemate option and uh, the numbers are decent, like 5-4, those are decent numbers for initiative, so 
you know, you just as long as you have an evil card in your hand, you can just keep on getting Futile Inquisition back. So I figured that was worth a shot. I don't know if it goes in like a smaller Herod's defense, but it uh, definitely merited a spot in this deck, I believe. Um, and, you know, it's, it's good because if you start running out of solid battle winners on defense, then, then there you go. You've got it. Uh, just remember your Herods are Roman, so you can use Romans Destroy Jerusalem on them to uh, just, you know, wipe the wipe the offense. Or it's especially good if you're using an Old Testament uh, offense so that it's, you know, just a one-sided thing. And if you're not using very many fortresses, so it doesn't hurt you too much. But it also works if you're playing Chamber of Angels and Angels because you can uh, keep your chamber safe because the place is set aside. And, you know, you can just put all your angels over there, pray your opponent doesn't have shipwreck, and then bring them back uh, when you, you know, get to your prep phase. So you can also do it with, like, Herod's Temple and, um, you know, using that to as, like, a layer so that your Herod's Temple gets discarded, but your heroes survive if you're running Gospel Humans. But just... Just saying, like, Rama's Destroy Jerusalem, don't don't sleep on that card. And, and don't forget that it's around there, because if you overcommit to your board and your opponent's got it, and uh, you don't have a way to, you know, stop it, like the cross or something to toss it, then you're going to be in trouble. So other than that, we're using pretty much everything from GOC Phase 2 that Herod's can. Um, some of it's in reserve. A lot of it can be grabbed with wages or clinging with reserve. Um... And that brings us, I think, to the win cons. How do we win with this deck? Because, you know, there's really... I mean, I wouldn't even call an Angel of Peers a battle winner. So pretty much our only battle winner on offense is 4th Bull of Wrath. Like, we've got Reprimand, but we have no white heroes to play it on. So 4th uh, Bull of Wrath is... And that, that's really just in there as a utility card that you know, can be used on defense as well, because uh, in Herods and defensive heavy decks in general, you want to have plenty of negates. And so this is an enhancement that, you know, if it was just the evil side, might be worth running. Since it's the good and evil side that are relevant in this deck, then it's just a no-brainer. So great uh, card in this deck, and you know, might be able to win you some battles with your offense. But kind of the main way to win with this offense is um, well, I don't know if I call it the main way, but kind of the early on how you're going to kind of start winning, I think, with this offense is just by pushing out some big angels and if your opponent has a way to deal with them, well you just put them in a chamber and then you try again next turn and eventually your opponent's going to run out of ways to deal with your angels, especially with you know, Gabriel negating stuff, Expatriator negating stuff, Magnifying Multitude negating stuff, and Legion of Angels protecting them, and, and also drawing cards. Like, these are all super strong, especially Legion, to just, uh, you can, like, negate their evil characters that band, and then you can protect from yeah, their evil characters, which now can't band. And even if they do, like I said, Chamber, boom, just pop them over, and try again next turn. Eventually, they're going to run out of stuff. Um, and then there aren't very many... I mean, like, Herod Agrippa I is probably one of the best evil characters against this offense because you can just... Uh, for one, he's CPP, and two, he's just protected from, uh, you know, multiple heroes. So I guess then, you know, you just attack with Legion of Angels by itself, and then you're, you know, then if your opponent has Herod Archelaus, well, then they can just jump block all day. But... Uh, that's why we have some alternative rescue options here. So, alternatively, you're going to use one of, I mean, I guess, yeah, one of the two new alternate win condition cards, which are ultimately the same win condition, but they you know, get you to, to go about it in a different way. Uh, one of them is from Phase 1, which we all know is the cross. The first part of the ability is actually pretty decent, especially with your you know, angel band. It tosses stuff like scattered and abandonment. Uh, you just gotta be careful about it with, with this defense. Um, I guess those are the only two. Abandonment and Roman Destroy Jerusalem are the only two that get affected by it, and then also Herod's Banquet in reserve here. Uh, and Foreign Horses. Um, so, you know, be wary of that. 
And it's also nice to restrict dominance because if your opponent gets to three and, you know, they're waiting on just drawing their Son of God and Second Coming, like, this is a way that you can, you know, at least attempt to slow them down a little bit. Um, and also make it a little bit easier for you to block because with, you know, without dominance, you're likely, or let me put it this way you're you're likely to have more resources than your opponent on the blocks because you know playing a, a defensive heavy deck that's just how you've kind of set your deck up to work and then if you take dominance out of the equation that makes it so that if your opponent happens to have their dominance then they don't get out they don't get an advantage from that if that if that makes sense so like you know if i'm holding five evil enhancements and a christian martyr and my opponent's holding you know two good enhancements and an angel of the lord I want to take out dominance in that scenario because then, you know, my my five good enhancement or evil enhancements are going to be better than their two good, you know, on average or or something like that. Um, but like if they just have a choose the blocker hero and they play Christian or they play uh, Angel of the Lord, then I guess I still have Martyr available, but, you know, let's say it's somebody that's protected from discard, or they use, um, so like Elijah, or they use I am he to protect their disciples and then attack with Simon or something like that. Like, it's easier for your opponent to get a rescue around your enhancements with their, you know, it's, it makes sense, okay? Just, just trust me on that. <laughs> so, that's the first one, the cross. Uh, I guess I didn't even talk about the win con part. The second part, while every deck is empty, if your New Testament hero is successful, successful in battle, rescue any number of lost souls and or meek heroes. You guys have seen this one before if you are a faithful viewer of my channel, and for that I thank you if you are. Um, but one of the things that I didn't really realize until I was you know, looking at it again in the context of this deck is that it just says meek empty hero. It does not say human meek empty hero or Meek and T human heroes, probably the order that it would be in. So, we've got another Legion of Angels, not the special ability GOC one, but the I deck Legion of Angels, which is Meek, that we've got stuck uh, over here in reserve, so that at the end of the game, once you've just pounded through with your other angels, and you know maybe you didn't rescue any lost souls, but you ran them out of defense, then you can just go Expatriator to Gabriel and ban to Meek Legion of Angels, and if you have the cross active, then you just rescue all the Lost Souls and, and you win, and it's awesome. So, new win con. What's the second one? Angel Party. Over here in Reserve. If we're getting to the late game, hopefully your opponent's deck will be empty, and we've kind of, we're, we're trying to help that out a little bit with the Outcasts. I don't know if it's necessarily worth it. It's just like a it's a light counter to uh, some of the super aggressive, like Numerous as the Stars decks right now, where they're just trying to get a whole bunch of heroes on turn one. So if we draw Outcasts, we can play it with the Star ability, we can uh, play it with Darkness. That's just kind of... I don't know. It, it just fits since I was going with the Gold Unity, so I, I might as well have it. It was kind of my thinking. And it kind of helps our win con. We want the decks to be empty because of the cross, and we want their deck to be empty especially so that we can start rescuing with Angel Party, and hopefully, you know, start getting like two rescues per turn, especially if we're trying to catch up, because you know, the offense doesn't do a whole lot during the game, typically, you know, you're, you're just going in there to run your opponent out of defense for the late game. So... This says, place in territory, each upkeep, if an opponent's deck is empty, you may rescue a lost soul or a hero that has been converted from an evil human in their territory, cannot be prevented, and it has Unity Heroes New Testament. Of course, we meet that requirement easy, but the tricky part is just getting your opponent's deck to be empty, and a lot of times, I mean, I guess that's not too difficult, a lot of people are playing fast, aggressive decks these days, but... There are also a lot of cards like the Lord's Prayer and Emmaus Road and Wages of Sin that you your opponent plays them and they just keep on going back into their deck. And so I tried to kind of plan for that a little bit by uh, putting Turn to Egypt in reserve here. So I was thinking like, okay, maybe my opponent's playing Emmaus Road and Wages of Sin. They put those back in their deck so that those are the last two cards so that it doesn't uh, you know trigger my Angel Party on upkeep. And then on my turn, you know, it does delay me a turn at least, but I can drop wages 
to take an evil card of the discard ability from my reserve, grab turn to Egypt, and discard their top two cards. Or maybe they attack, after, or like they, they do those during their prep phase, they attack, and then I can do duplicity and then play turn to Egypt or something like that. Or, yeah, block with outcast, play wages, and do turn to Egypt on their turn or something. I, I don't know. There are ways to do it so that you still get it on your turn. And I was actually, like, one of the considerations for the deck was taking out Doubt or, like, maybe one of the other Evil Dominants or maybe even Chronicles for Mayhem just because uh, once you get at the end of the game there, if your opponent starts, you know, running out of resources, maybe they play their mage, uh, Emmaus Road and their Wages, you know, they still got some stuff in their reserve, but if they get down to, like, four cards in hand or something like that, I can drop away, uh, Mayhem at the... Uh, during like my draw phase or something and then that will you know, shuffle their hand into their deck and then draw six so that will empty their deck so that once I get to my upkeep that will trigger angel party so there are some tricks there you know it doesn't have to be in like a straight mill deck I think this is a decent card if you have NT unity on your offense to just put it in your reserve and get it with good seed or you know fifth seal or something like that or Covenant of Prayer, uh, I think it's just a decent you know, option to have in your reserve if you've got room, if you've got into unity and if you're in those brigades or you you know have easy enough access to uh, clay, gold, or silver. So those are the win cons. That's how we're going to try to win this game. Uh, we've got a few more utility cards that I just want to give a shout out to. Herod's Temple is great with Herod's. So yeah, Herod the Great to play Herod's Temple and then reserve the top card as a turn one block. Amazing. And I already talked about Shield. That's, that was really good. Uh, Repercussion. That that might be the card that gets cut. That's that's maybe the 58th card. Um, it, I don't know. It's Like I was saying before, it's important to have negates in a defense like this. A, def uh, a defensive heavy deck, I guess. Especially one like Herod's, where you know you've got a lot of big bad boys that don't get initiative very easily, so you gotta have negates for their battle winners. And this one's a negate and a battle winner, so it's pretty sweet. Uh, especially if you're running Herod or Grip of the Second, you wanna run this because you get the benefit of capturing heroes that you withdraw. But eh, I don't know, might not be the best. And I guess I do have a white hero. I didn't even uh, I forgot about Justice Seekers. How could I? All right, that's the other win con. Justice Seekers to play Reprimand in battle. <laughs> Could also play an Angel of Peers. Could play Reverence and Awe. I mean, that's Angel of Peers. That's that's not bad on on Justice Seekers here. So, all right, all right, we've got a fourth win con. There it is. Um, <laughs> other utility cards. Jerusalem. I think it's a pretty solid card, especially in defensive heavy, just because you can grab back an evil human that was putting in work that they, you know, had Angel of the Lord for or something like that. Uh, if you discard one of the excess evil dominance, because we're running a lot with defensive heavy, that's kind of the way you want to do things. And you also get kind of a, a draw one with selection uh, each turn, which is, I don't know, I think it's pretty solid. And it's not like a huge threat to where your opponent is like, oh, I got to deal with that. Uh, just you know, it, it is kind of tough to know what to play it as, though. Do you want to play it as neutral and risk it getting hit by a negate neutrals, or do you want to play it as an evil fortress and, you know, have it get hit by Rome's Destroy Jerusalem or, uh, you know, your opponent's Chamber of Angels or something like that? Uh, so just some things to consider, but it's flexible, so you can, you know, decide in the moment, like, oh, my opponent's playing angels, well, maybe I should play it as a site, although I guess there's Re Resurrection Revealer too, so... Eh. Uh, I guess that's a that's a bit of a toss up. Uh, I will mention I did have ministering spirit in here as another like counter card to kind of slow my opponent down. The thing with this though is that with win cons like the cross and angel party, you don't necessarily want to slow your opponent down too much. You kind of you part of you wants them to to get through their deck as quickly as possible, so you can start using your win cons, and then like after they are through it, then hopefully by that point you're kind of set up with your defense and you can um, you know kind of start taking over the game I guess or kind of you know start turning it around because now your defense is solid and um, you know, you've got resources for days and hopefully they've spent most of theirs but crown of thorns of course it's in here such a good card in most decks these days 
Covenant of Eden, I thought would just be like, look at this offense. Look, just one icon, one icon, one icon on all the heroes. None of those like meek flip characters that you're seeing these days. None of those. Well, okay, I've got a few dual align, dual icon enhancements. I've got a Covenant of Prayer and I've got a Justice Seekers, but and I guess two dual icon dominance in Jerusalem. <laughs> You do have to be a little bit careful with Covenant of Eden as well, I guess, like getting the timing right. But I think that just controlling it, I mean, having having that option, I think, is, is pretty solid in this deck. Especially on turn one, like you want to make sure that you have something, at least, I think, to uh, kind of slow down an aggressive opponent. Uh, at least, you know, until you can stabilize, then you can just turn everything off, let them, them get through their deck, and then, you know, start partying. Um, but, you know, I just want to have, like, Covenant of Eden or Crown of Thorns or, you know, Sheol or, I guess, Herodias isn't really a, much of a counter on turn one, but, uh, Resurrection Revealer, you know, having some of those options right away is good. And Covenant of Prayer just as a utility, kind of get Legion or Angel Party out of the reserve at the end of the game. Um, I, th I thought that was just kind of a nice include because I don't have, like, good seed colors and... There's not too many ways to get Legion of Angels out of reserve. We've got an Angel Appears in Jerusalem, but that's pretty much it. So I figured it was probably worth having an extra option there. Dominance, of course, we're running most of the defensive dominance. Like I said, Mayhem would probably be decent. Um, Shipwreck also maybe goes in place of Vain Philosophy. Like... I really like Vain Philosophy, I think it's really good, uh, but if your opponent has Storehouse, you're going to really wish you had Shipwreck. That's a lesson that I may or may not have learned in the game <laughs> that you're about to see. So, uh, yeah, I think this is a pretty standard defense-heavy dominant package, though, um, but some of the evil dominants can maybe be swapped around to less be less battle-focused and more like big game-focused like Mayhem and, and Shipwreck. So just something to consider if you're trying out defensive heavy. And last but not least, normally it's first, but I don't know. Just it was defensive heavy, so we're going backwards with the whole thing. Uh, we've got the Lost Souls here, which, uh, like I mentioned before, we've got Darkness, uh, just Dull and Lawless to help set up defense. And then we've pretty much just got counter Lost Souls from there. Salty doesn't hurt us too badly. It, it does kind of make the wages and the clinging and and all of our good enhancements uh, not quite as good but if you're playing the long game you don't care about those quite as much as you want your opponent to care about them if that makes sense uh, basically it's just it's gonna hurt your opponent more than it hurts you I think in general in a, a defensive heavy deck um, that's that's my theory anyway We've also got Punisher to negate some heroes, we've got Distress to negate some characters and territories, and we've got Accusers to negate some cards in battle. So, yeah, and then Humble to just stop them from negating our stuff, because, uh, I don't know, that's actually, I think it's really just in there for the enhancements, I guess, like the evil enhancements especially. Like if someone's coming in with a magnifying multitude or something with like two cards in hand, it's going to make it pretty difficult to block because there isn't a lot of um, like CBP evil enhancements. We've got Abandonment, we've got Roman Destroy Jerusalem, but uh, other than that, everything is negatable. And so, um, you know, we, we want to have, I think, that option with Humble. Could maybe be swapped out for something else, but it's just a good card in general. So I think it's important to have in a defensive heavy deck. Um, and... That said, like, pretty much the entire defense is cannot be prevented, so <laughs> it's not going to be quite as useful for your characters, and the, the offense here is mostly cannot be prevented or negated. I guess he's CBI, and he's nothing, but he would be sweet if he's he was cannot be negated, so maybe we'll figure out a way to do that. It's going to be tough. Gold shield only targets humans. But, anyways... That's probably enough for the deck overview. I said I was going to try to keep it short, but <laughs> I just kept on going. My voice kept on working, so sorry. Um, anything else to say before the game? I guess uh, it was it was a really fun game. Uh, it was Jeremy was kind of the bane of my existence at Nationals. I just uh, 
I couldn't beat him in type 1 or type 2. But, um, yeah, it was kind of fun now to have a game where it's just like, you know, the stress levels are low. There's not a whole lot on the line. No offense, Lackey Grand Prix, but, you know, it's not Nationals. <laughs> um, and, yeah, it was just a, a fun uh, game. I, I, I'll, I'll put it this way. I didn't get blown out, at least. Um, you know, I, I won't spoil the, the final result, but, um, uh, did not get blown out like I was thinking I might, like if, if his offense just is, uh, super aggressive and is able to, um, uh, pull out ahead and, and grab some, you know, lost souls before I can get my defense established as, I mean, that's kind of the risk you run with a defensive heavy deck, uh, is just not being fast enough to, to keep up. And so I was a little bit worried about that, but we hung in there at the very least. And yeah, I think I think I I did okay with the you know you shall not pass uh, intro. Like it 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 makes sense with the game. I don't I don't know. All right, let's get into the game. But first, a quick word from our sponsors at Your Turn Games. This video is sponsored by Your Turn Games, a retailer of Redemption CCG with various products such as singles, sealed product, and great deals on bundles like battle boxes and grab bags. They also have pre-built decks such as challenger decks in the $55 range, contender decks in the $80 to $95 range, and champion decks in the this deck just placed at nationals last year dollar range. They also have card supplies to keep you caught up on all of your gaming needs, and at no cost to you, they have redemption resources such as the latest redemption news, rules, tournaments that are coming up, and redemption content such as this. So head on over to yourturngames.biz today, and a big thank you to them for supporting this content. All right, let's do it. Yep. Make this a little bit. Are you playing Angel Demons this week? Uh, not quite. Let's see. I could do no lost souls. No. Which, I, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that's the third. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the third time this Grand Prix. Like, or I think I've. This is round three. I'm pretty sure I haven't drawn lost souls in the beginning in every game so far. Well. Um. So the lackey shuffler is working in my favor, and apparently the. The dice are so. also working in my favor. What's that? I said I tried to match you on the dice. Yeah. Three, three, six, 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 four. Here we go. Um, question yeah, is, do I want to go first? Probably. I don't know. It seems good. Um, yeah. Let's let's reserve the top card of your deck. No. Okay, it must be like a dumb man. It's going to be three right? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be three woes. <laughs> All right, that's my stars. Easy kill. That's, that's nice. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, he's he's kind of one of my staples. Nice, nice. Got any stars? Uh, yeah. I got the Nebaeus root. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you take a peek what you're playing here. Well, you were half right. Half right on the angels and the inherited. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, a good bit of defense there. A little bit. Good news well, for you is that I have a hero that draws cards, so I might draw some lost souls for you this turn. That's true. We'll see. Oh, worry. All good there. Okay. Yep. Got it. Yep. All right. Well, um, I guess no reason to waste any time. Let's uh, go out with the expatriator right and band a legion of angels, and I will draw two. No souls. Hey. Pretty good. Hmm. Um. 
this seems pretty good. I'm gonna go. Okay. The Legion of Angels is kind of nutty. He's pretty gotta, good. Got to figure out a way to convert him to white or clay so that you can put joy on him, make him CBN. <laughs> yeah. Going with the Siva. Go to your deck. Mm. What do we get? I don't have very many hand look stars and silver and herods, so. No, not a lot. Didn't get to peek at what you were playing. I think there's. Oh, yeah, the Annunciation, which isn't really silver, but. It is silver, but you know, not yeah, not really angels, I guess. It could be. Yeah. We'll go with Ben Black. And we will play College Man. Very nice. And we will band to draw two. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to go ahead and trigger Legion of Angels <clears throat> to take a good dominant from my deck. And let's see. Um, what are the odds you have like an abandonment or something? Hmm. I'm going to take Chronicles. Seems pretty good. Yeah, and then... Hmm. Yeah, that's probably worth it. I'm going to play a good Woes to negate Abimelech. Alright. Okay. Nice. Yep. Yeah, I had nothing, so. You Sweet. Did. Better safe than sorry, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for letting me keep the hood, man. <laughs> that's, that's fair. One more card in your deck, gotta slow you down a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is a little bit. <laughs> um, uh, I'm gonna put down Jerusalem, but. <clears throat> I decide site or fortress. Um, let's do site. Okay. That way, even if it's negated by a negate neutrals, it at least still can maybe hide loss holes. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. And then let's put down here to Grippa. You have to have souls for us. Well, that's true, yeah. Uh, I'll play here, it's Treachery. And go to my deck. For... New Testament evil card, yeah, okay. Um, pretty sure I want that one. Just double check. Um, yeah, all right, we'll grab Shield. Yeah. And we'll put that down and pass the turn. Alright. I'll you another soul. Huzzah. Um, I do have a star. I'll be looking for it. Mm hmm. Seems good. Hmm. What do I want to take? I 
I gotta take the three woes. Can't go wrong there. Alright. I wonder how good a card would have to be in order to have a star of, like, look at your opponent's top however many cards, and you can maybe, like, give this card to them to take one. That'd be cool. That would be pretty cool. Play well with these. Mm hmm. It's like you get to use the star, but then they get to use the the card, so it's got to be something strong, but not too strong to just be an auto include. Right. Maybe something like if you play this card but don't own it, you may do something cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll play Gabriel. Uh. Nice banding target. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Both ways. It's true, yeah. Mm. I'll play the mash really. You got my deck. You want to undertake my soul there? Um, you know. I'm thinking about it, but we'll we'll see what you search for. Yeah, good <laughs> enough. Yeah, I guess we'll get a job. Seems good. Another sure. one of your staples. Oh uh, yeah. I do show a name with them, so. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to pass up. Yep. And another artifact. Activate. Golden calf. Mm hmm. And we'll. Come in with Gabriel. To negate. I guess Sherry Agrippa. I think it matters. And we will resolve an evil card from your deck. Cool. Hmm. That is kind of a, a question I was curious to ask to people who have been using Gabriel frequently of like if you, you've got Gabriel first turn you're attacking and reserving an evil card from their deck what do you go with like you know just kind of in general like I feel like woes is maybe a solid go to but you get that in your hand though <laughs> what's that so you get that in your hand though well well yeah I'm, this is a hypothetical you know I'm yeah I'm not... woes is definitely a Pretty good target. You can yeah. also say crowd's choice if they have it. That's true. Because they can have whatever you resolve back out they need to. Right. I guess we'll go with modder. Sure. But I don't know, with all this like stuff that searches for a gospel dominant, like, you know, who's gonna maybe maybe crowd's choice is a little riskier. Um well, unless you have any other effects, I will decline the battle challenge. Um, I'll play Moses. Ooh, all right. Your turn. So Gabriel's in there as a prophet, not a uh, angel, I guess. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, he's still an angel, but he's also a prophet. Right. Well, yeah. And he's great. Best of both worlds, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think I really want to use that star. So let's go to upkeep. Three woes. Yeah. Um, probably just go on your golden calf. Okay. And Jerusalem will reserve a random card. So we'll shuffle the deck and reveal the top, which is the cross is interesting. And I can take... Any... Yeah, the talent is good. What's that? 
I bet you have a ton of ways to get that out of Bazaar. <laughs> well, Jerusalem yeah, is one of them, so I suppose I'd yeah. Yeah. could do that. Um, Angel of Peter's Star, I think. Oh, that's true, yeah. Top decks. Take an NT card from Reserve. Um, I mean, I guess I could just get Martyr. That's gonna. It's kind of a nice little tutor. <laughs> Um, you just just use Gabriel to put my best New Testament cards in reserve, please. <laughs> and Dominus. Uh, go for it. I'm gonna play three woes <laughs> to negate Jerusalem, and we'll make three woes. Uh, we'll go evil. Seems good. So martyr goes back to reserve, and the cross. Uh, Believe should just be shuffled back into the deck. Yeah. <clears throat> um. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. So. I guess we'll play. Crown of Thorns or activate Crown of Thorns. There you go. And. Um, bounce all your hero tokens. Then oh, yeah. We'll put down Resurrection Revealer. Yeah, then we get the Moses. Mm hmm. And. Kind of Thorns is a very good card. Yeah, it's kind of just goes in every deck, I think, that at least Not every bad. deck that I've been building lately. <laughs> um. All right, you played Woes as evil. Yep. Cool. I'm going to rescue with the expatriator. I will negate and underdeck your Woes. Very nice. And we'll ban to Gabriel to, I guess, negate my Herod and ban to Legion of Angels, which will now draw me three. Yep. And still no Lost Souls in there. You didn't miss great, Jeff. I, I promise you there are eight of them in the deck. Oh, I see. I'm guessing it's that 58th card. That, that's I shuffled one, there was one on the top three. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess note that Gabriel is not protected from evil, lone evil characters because he's not mine. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I thought that you are. Uh... Yep, yeah, don't have to get to you. Alright. And. Got nine cards. Um, so we'll put down another Herod and I will pass the turn. Alrighty. Another lost soul for me? <laughs> ah, oh, darn. I suppose that's the reason to play Jerusalem as a fortress as well as it kind of forces you to play woes is good instead of you know, letting you choose yeah not that I feel like Jerusalem is going to be a super common woes target but kind of just in situations like that where I get something that's useful that you okay. don't want me to have oh yeah definitely mm, I can't do what I want to do because that I'd probably draw you a <laughs> And you don't have souls, so I can't rescue a soul. <laughs> I haven't found my soul gen yet either. Yeah, that was part of the reasoning for Sheol there as well, is like get the uh, limit the number of soul gen options. Definitely. Well, I'm, I'm sure you've got a harvest soul in there somewhere. I know you like that one. Yeah, pretty good. 
I will pass. Alrighty. Hey, there they are. Hmm. Um. All right. No stars. Darkness. Not very helpful. Punisher is currently active, so that's nice. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Let's see here. Do I want to? Uh, oh, I guess yeah. He didn't give me any woes targets. Um. So. You could always woe if you don't like try not to lose. That's true. I could. <laughs> yeah. Um. I will. Choose to forego the negate this round. Seems fair enough. And I will shuffle my deck and reveal the top, reserving my son of God. Yeah. It's, I think it's Did kind of safe abandon. there. Yeah. Unless you unless you abandon my hair dark Elias, though, I guess that would be bad. Oh, um, <laughs> Because mm. my Philistines can definitely ban the herds. Well, you never know. Like, yeah, maybe you've got a Lot's wife in there somewhere. Splash it in. Oh yeah, that is an invitation. Yeah. Um. I think I will just grab Son of God. Just feels oh, God. feels a little safer in my hand here. Yeah, I would say so. And though it is a little unfortunate that I, you know, can't play it now. Um, yeah, you play it soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. All right. So those are my upkeep triggers. Let's. I suppose we'll put Punisher in Jerusalem. And. Mm, those drawing cards probably isn't the wisest thing to do with the inability to play cards. So let's just go with the expatriator. Um, no targets for the negate. I will ban to your Gabriel. And yep. let's reserve an evil card from your deck. Go for it. All right. So just straight up profits, very nice. Mm. Let's do. Yeah, I guess we'll just do the woes. Seems good. And that's my battle challenge. Yep, I will uh, decline. Cool. Um, I suppose I can put down my own Gabriel. Appreciate and... that. <laughs> then. Figure out who's safe to put down here. Got that Elijah. Guess that's not the worst. We'll put down merchants. We'll put down Herod's guard. And um, hmm. Let's put down outsiders, and I will pass the turn. Um, seems pretty good. I will 
do distressing people stuff. Mm -hmm. Can you give that? Yeah. Well, thanks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, th I did think about reserving that one. Yeah, just, I to be, that again. just to be safe, but... The only problem is, like, Elijah doesn't win. <laughs> That's so true. Against the people. You still have to play something. I don't have anything to play. <laughs> <laughs> My mutuals are negated. Uh, um... Uh, distressing people negates resurrection revealer. So. That is true. So you're good on that, at least. Cool. Still don't think it helps me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll activate Book of the Law. Mm hmm. That was distressing people. No, no, no. Alright. And. Play Pat Moss. Yeah, I get up here. Alright, I will trigger shield under deck darkness. Ah, oh, come on, you could under deck punish it. <laughs> I could have, that's true. Somehow, <clears throat> just feel like once you play Authority of Christ, darkness will, will do me some good. <laughs> Yeah, that would be pretty good. <laughs> Personally, I do not have access to that. <laughs> uh. Uh, I can't do that a lot. No. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go. In Peter's Purple, you get you know, access <laughs> to Jerusalem there. <laughs> That's true. Gabriel, get an evil card. Uh, I'm gonna negate, I guess. All of them CBP, except for merchants. Did I hit merchants? Yep. And band. I gotta get a soul, so I'm just gonna ban to Matthew Meek. And I'll top deck a good card. And resolve. Sure. Alright. Um, what are your numbers? Four, six, so nine, eighteen. Hmm. Yep. All right. I think I'm actually going to block. And let's go with who oh, actually. Hmm. Nah, I think I want to keep Punisher in play. Um, 
I'm gonna block with Herod Philip II. Yep. And we'll draw three. No lost soul. Uh, I will ban to Herod's guard, prevent the next good card played in battle, and I'll go to my deck for this great guy. Oh wow. Yeah. Um, so I will, um, hmm. so I want to discard a random card from your reserve. Doesn't feel quite as good without three woes in it. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and play Herod's Temple from my deck. Okay. And I will not choose a hero to attack. All right. And it puts me at 2017. It's your initiative. 2017. What a good year. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> I won multi in that year. Well, there you go. I think I won <laughs> type two multi that year, so there we go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Multi, buddy. Yay. Rest in peace, multiplayer. And uh, I feel like we killed it. Uh, so you blocked from hand, right? Um, I did. Yeah. Uh, I'll take a good card from deck. Hmm. Let's take Stonehouse. All right. May I play a dominant? Oh, uh, actually, you know what? Nah. Yeah. Go ahead. Your initiative. Okay. My initiative. Yep. Uh, thought we crash would feel pretty good. <laughs> Most of was... you did the. I was trusting that. That was not an option. <laughs> I guess, nope. but I also did play Herod's Temple just in case. <laughs> there you go. And they die. Okay. Um, yeah, that works for me. I'll put that storehouse just in case you have Soul Gen. Hmm. <laughs> Soul Gen, who needs that? <laughs> All right, maybe I should have got Sonic from there, but they will. What's that? Then maybe I should have got Sonic out there, but yeah, oh well. Oh, sure. Then I might have used Shield. <laughs> exactly. Uh, King Redland. Ooh. He is not a Philistine. Not sure if you he knew that or not, not but. <laughs> he is not. And it is you telling my friend. Cool. Um, Alright. Seems like a good star ability. Let's go ahead and. Oh, wait, no. It's negated there. <laughs> Um, alright, I guess we're not doing that. But I will... You have Old Testament star abilities? I know, right? Um, ah. I mean, I guess I just used three woes on distressing people here. <laughs> hey, yes, that works. That seems, seems like the, the right play. Uh, and then let's go ahead and use Jerusalem... Shuffle that up, reveal the top, reserve, covenant of prayer. It's not supposed to go in reserve. Um, <clears throat> I will take... Hmm. Eh, let's just get the covenant of prayer out of there. Have that for a rainy day. 
There you go. I'm gonna put down an artifact. Definitely don't know what that is. Uh, let's put down my Old Testament star card, the Outcasts. Yeah. Definitely didn't need the star ability, but you know, that'll be fun. And hmm. No lost souls for me. Oh wow. Twelve cards in hand. I know, I'm sure I'm sure you feel really bad for me, but <laughs> um hmm. So if I attack, what are the odds you use resin to play Damascus, grab captain of the chariots, equip something, and draw two? Probably not likely. Darn. My, my sneaky resin play doesn't work on angels. <laughs> That's fair. I suppose Damascus would also be negated by Resurrection Revealer, so that would true. not work out super well. Um, Alright, well, I gotta get cards out of my hand, so I'm going to behead the Watchman. Aww. And I suppose I might as well still. Oh wait, no. Oh, that's right. You got storehouse now. Who plays with that card? <laughs> Gabriel should just be able to negate any card. Um. Hmm. That would be a little too good. <laughs> yeah, as if he's not already too good. Making like negate stuff and set aside too. What's that? Oh, said, yeah. We can yeah. negate stuff and set it aside if I would add. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's what the expatriator's for, I guess. Um, got 11 cards now. All right. Well, this doesn't seem like it's going to be super useful, so I'm just going to discard Romans Destroy Jerusalem. Nah, you play that. <laughs> I will... Um, I don't know if this is going to be useful at any point, so I'm just going to play Angelic Guidance, and can't look at your hand, but I can go find a silver card. Yeah. Hey, I guess that's good. Yeah. Alright, let's grab Reverence and Awe. I like it, I like it. And then we'll play Point. that. And. Jessica. Uh, that would be nice. But we're going to go with Chamber. Uh, that's also nice. Yeah. And then. Um, I guess we'll banish your Abimelech, because why not? There you go. And we'll put down the chamber. And I guess I shouldn't have discarded already. Could could have put a hero in there. Um then I will Hmm. Yeah, why not? Let's, uh... uh... Yeah, let's play Fifth Seal. Go to deck. We'll grab... Uh, I guess that's not really gonna help me, actually. Um... We'll grab an Angel of Peers. And that'll just sit in my hand because you don't have hand advantage. <laughs> and I guess we'll... Hmm. I guess we'll discard that one. Where's the storehouse when you need it? And then I'll pass the turn. So we're in my territory. Yeah. 
It's true. Where's my where are my thieves to take it from you? Yeah, yeah, so. Hey. Uh. Better not put it in that silver site. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, you don't have anything protecting your hand, right? Unfortunately, I do not. Uh, let's take a peek at that hand. Sure. Maybe. Okay. You got some goodies. Mm-hmm. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Oh, yeah. All in a way. Don't like to see that. <laughs> That's one of the good. <laughs> Alright, that's good for me. Hmm. You know, I said Elijah Kill is protected from going to Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only protected from this god. Yep. Yeah, fortunately I had the falling away in hand, so that was yeah. not the target instead of martyr. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, Elijah don't have side access, so it would work. No, that's that's also true. That's great. <laughs> Herods, man, they're tough. Now Shill and Psylocke's tough. That too. <laughs> and I have side access with Patmos, but uh, Shill, if I do any kind of source, you're just gonna uh, detect that, so... Oh, sure. Yep. I don't know, I kind of like having the Punisher around. You can take your chances. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll... Yes, I will. I'll take fire factors for storehouse. All right. Um. Nah, that's fine. I'll leave it. I gotcha. I gotcha. Um. I want to show people some battles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As it would be good. I guess we're going in with Angel of the Winds. Mm -hmm. Go to my deck. We'll get Mr. Elijah. Seems good. Gotta take Elijah from reserve. Nope. <laughs> Don't have it. Ah, uh, darn. You gonna trigger shield? Uh, well, I'll let you finish Elijah first if you're. I'll uh, use distressing people. All right. Gotta make you play it. Um. Hmm. And I had bad most of battle. Yeah, I it. think I am going to trigger shield. Yep. Seems pretty good. Yeah. Well, I understood. Yep. Just play something with one strength, please. Suppose <laughs> <laughs> uh, two bears is decent here. Get some value. Yeah. I guess it hits your resin too, though. So. It's resin and. Outsiders, Outcasts, and Mochants. Yep. So the guys are protected. Right. But I don't think I want to do that, so I'm gonna pass. Hmm. I think I too will pass. Alright. That was a great battle. <laughs> Everyone's screaming at the content. They're just like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Right. Everybody go tell your friends to watch this video so that they can 
have uh, the same amazing content viewing. Maybe I should have played Moses. Dang it. Oh well. Uh, Great. Yeah, I do still have Crown of Thorns. Mm. Uh, I was just saying, like, the Brigade. I didn't want other Brigade to play. Oh, yeah. Uh, but Punisher's gone, so. Yep. That's nice. Plus, more brigades means more cards I draw with outsiders, which means more lost souls coming out. True. Gotta look on the bright side. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> I guess I'll play Mace Rude. I believe that should be negated by Crown of Thorns, right? Oh, yeah. It does do that. <laughs> it's a. Uh... Well, I had to get some out of my hand anyway. There you go. Happy to help. I was just trying to slide that one by you. <laughs> Play Peter and Pastor. All right. Hey, Lost Soul. Look at that. Oh, hey, wow. Darkness is back. Look at that. There you go. I can use at least one sort of penalty. <laughs> Well, hmm. Could just, I mean, I'll probably put one of them in Jerusalem, though, so gotta be careful. It's true. Um, we'll keep woes on distressing people. Yep. Seems pretty good. Yep. And. Um, yeah, I guess we might as well use Jerusalem. As well. Shuffle that deck, reveal the top, clinging to power, that doesn't go in reserve. Um you in your hand though. <laughs> hmm. Do I want it in my hand right now? I suppose. Uh yeah, we'll grab clinging to power. And I believe that's all my upkeep shenanigans. Let's put down. Like, What's that? So I feel like Jerusalem is like an underrated tutor for anything. <laughs> it's it's pretty nice. Like I mean, I, I'm a fan. With all yeah. of the reserving that people are doing, it's gonna. It's like you can kind of filter through stuff a little bit with it. Yeah. Which is cool. Um. So let's put down magnifying multitude. And. We've got a lost soul to go after. It's it's fun. Uh, I'll put Great. humble in Jerusalem. And hmm, let's do. Um, yeah, multitude probably isn't going to get us super far with the negate, so we'll put Multitude in Chamber of Angels. Yep. And... I think I will... go ahead and... let's see, you're at eight cards in hand. Maybe I can get under that humble. Uh, let's play Clinging to Power, go to Reserve for Herod's Executioner. Nah, why you scared the humble? Well, you just play something out on it. <laughs> That's true. I could you just underdeck it with Sheol. Um, okay. <laughs> I'll put down Herod's Executioner, and price is gonna be real nice later. What's that? So I thought your price would be real nice later. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, just gotta negate my Herod's Temple. <laughs> oh yeah, my Rose is still in my deck, I think. That's true, yeah. You got it back in there. It's been um, like everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, hmm. Uh, maybe I don't care enough about Humble to try to get another card out of my deck, so, or out of my hand, so. Uh, let's just go with 
Let's see. Super Castle Curve. Hmm. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll send in the team. Let's do Expatriator. We'll negate Resin. And yep. we'll ban to Gabriel to negate Resin again. Oh, wow. Yep, double negate. And <laughs> then we'll... We'll ban a Legion of Angels. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Legion? No, uh, no, I do not. Okay. Mm, no. Yes, I will buy your boxes here. We'll shuffle your Jerusalem. Ooh. All right. And. Yeah, protecting lost souls. Correct. Um, yeah, that's fine. Alright. Anything cool I can do. <laughs> you know what? I think I'll do it. Maybe. Yeah. Give them the action. Give them the give them the content. <laughs> Two minutes. Kill the sun. Mm. To grab outsiders. Sure. And we'll under deck. Do heads temple. And crown of thorn. Hmm. Seems good. And we will. Discard resurrection reveal it. Okay. Um I will move it to chamber. Fair enough. Yeah, I believe it's still my initiative. Um Yeah, I'm trying to decide if I want to use Legion here. Um yeah, I think I will. Nah, come on, you don't want to. <laughs> Let's grab the second coming. That up for the win, baby. Getting there. And yeah, uh, your initiative. I will die. Cool. Try to gain a little bit of ground here. Yeah, that's not, not a bad play. Get rid of all your pesky cards. <laughs> um, Alright, well, let's just do this now. Play Son of God and Rescue the Humble. There you go. And we'll play Second Coming, Grab Son of God. Seems good. And... Hmm... Yeah, I think that's probably working out all right for me. So let's go ahead and um, let's see. Uh, Moses is now on, is he not? Yeah, he is. He yeah. Very nice. Um, hmm. In that case, I think I'm going to just mm. 
I think I just discard delivered. And then I pass. Okay. Mm, well, I drew a delude, so let's just go to the top of your deck. Ooh, not my deceiver. Yeah. I guess he's kind of getting less and less important as the game goes on here, so. It's true. That's actually not bad. <laughs> Just as a heads up, we are three minutes away from the one hour mark. Ooh. Uh, yes, I will not take the storehouse. Okay. So I will check the law to activate Golden Calf back up. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this will work here. Come in with Cherubim to look at your hand. Ooh. The top deck, the falling away in Chronicles. Mm hmm. No, I'm never drawing Lost Souls. <laughs> <laughs> yes, true. And we will ban to Elijah to choose the distressing people again. Yep. And suddenly, Elijah is somewhat bigger. He has help. He is, yeah. Um... I, I was just waiting on that chair, though. <laughs> Uh, and you don't have the fallen away. Question is How badly do I want to keep my shield around? Hmm. You want it very badly. <laughs> I kind of do, actually. Um, but I suppose it's probably not. It's it's probably worth trying to get the block here. So yeah, let's uh. Yeah. Do I really want to leave myself with distressing people? <laughs> yes, that's true. Um. Yeah, whatever, we'll go for it. Um, okay. So we'll discard shield, banish. Um, I don't know if any of these can come back. We'll just banish Romans, destroy Jerusalem. And we'll add... Um, let's do... Let's add Herod's Executioner. Equip an evil gold weapon from reserve. Um, I will equip... Uh, let's see. Hmm. Um, I'll equip... Foreign horses to Herod Agrippa the first, and then ban to a Herod to protect that Herod from opponents. So I will. 
Hmm, I guess I get the similar effect there. Uh, so let's just... Um, yeah, we'll band a Herod Philip the second and draw three. Seems good. Hey, look, falling away in Chronicles. Oh no. And then I will. Uh, I was gonna do that, but. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll. Let's go with Herod Agrippa the first, and let's negate your storehouse. No. And I will draw two. And I don't believe you've used a draw or search ability this turn. I have not. Unfortunately. So. Um, yeah, that's my block. Or that's that's all my stuff. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Not going all that. Mm. I will die here. Cool. I have to keep distressing people, yay. <laughs> oh yeah. That's fine. Hopefully eventually, if we don't time out, I'll get <laughs> my back and get that get that block. Get that cell. Yep. Did you have anything else, or did you? Oh, uh, no, I'm sorry, it's your turn. No. Okay. I, I wasn't sure if you said that or not. Alrighty, now the good ones are coming out. Hmm. Good thing Moses is active, I think. Yes, I believe he is. As well as distressing people. Oh no, I guess distressing no, people no. is negated by Moses, that's right. <laughs> Holy calf. Right, that too. Um I wasn't counting that because I think three woes is gonna go on Golden Calf. I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm not gonna be playing enhancements in territory anyway. My characters are gonna be negated anyway. Yep. Um <laughs> Yeah, we'll put it on oh, I can't do Moses. Uh let's Let's put it on calf, I guess. Okay. Sounds good. And let's play... Let's play Jerusalem as a fortress this time. Just mix things up a little bit. Oh, yeah. We'll put Herod's Temple back down. Get that back. Yeah, they kind of... They came by as a package deal, I guess. Mm, goodness. Um, yeah. Um, so you're just getting characters and enhancements in my territories and lost souls in my territory. So, okay. Great. That's not going to help. What will that do? My deck's protected. And your deck's protected. Um, well, I guess we'd activate... Crown of Thorns again. That also came back. Um, it's pretty funny. Yeah. So then we put down Herodias and Herod's Guard and 
Man, I really wish your deck wasn't protected. Things would just be a lot simpler for me. As you play just... Shipwreck. <laughs> that was the ninth dominant, so it ended up getting cut, unfortunately. Oh, man. Um, we'll bring Resurrection Revealer back out of chamber, just in case that turns on at some point. You know, like if you finally get rid of distressing people. <laughs> And, uh, okay, so <laughs> distressing people is negating my lost souls, so I actually can, um, I can use enhancements in territory, because salty is not active, so I will, um, I'll play wages on outcasts here. Go to my deck for hmm. I'm gonna fail the search. And then I'm at eight, so I'm gonna pass. Fun times. Hey, hey muscles. And the peasants rejoiced. Well, you don't have that shell anymore, so that's good. Yep, that is true. These lost souls are probably here to stay. Sweet. And that they won't go back in my deck, and they won't go in your land of redemption. <laughs> when will <I> get <laughs> tested by fire? When I'm resolved? Mm-hmm. Hmm, I have souls, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go drop my coin and discard it to drop off. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, might as well play him. Oh man. I get humble. <laughs> and blue is salty. Yeah, right. Things if I love. <laughs> Didn't find my cross. I thought about yeah. activating it with delivered but delivered was negated, and I also liked my chronicles and falling away, so. Right. Yeah, that's very good. So, turn over golden calf. Uh, and I will activate endless treasures. Ooh. Not see every day. Yeah. Under deck that. To Activate. grab. All the courses from Resort. Mm, nice. We will let the gates grant a thorn so Moses is back on, right? Uh, yes. I believe that is the case. Cool. And I can faith. <laughs> You're nice. Just like... <laughs> <laughs> no. And we will go for it. Which we'll uses distressing people again. <laughs> yep. What a third, time. <laughs> third time's the charm, maybe. But you still have that away. That is true. I do. All right, uh, your initiative. All right, I will play Faith of Samuel. Yeah, boy. To and Moses and Jeremiah. Yep. And mm, that's all. No, I'll do that three. Mm -hmm. And it's your time to play Chronicles and Fallen Away. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hmm. 
Now I kind of want Chronicles for your all the curses, though. Tough decisions. Uh, yeah, let's just go for it. I'll play Evil Chronicles. Done. Dip it to three, I drew back. That's unfortunate. And these guys go back. It will be discarded. Well, I used it. Yep. I will play delivered. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'll take everything in my deck. Let me check. I have endless treasures, but I can't activate that again. So I just play for the numbers. All right, I'll trigger shield. No, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> what shield? Um. Hmm. Play your fallen away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I'll play Falling Away. I really want to get rid of this distressing people. <laughs> Just can't bring myself to do it for some reason. Um, I guess Elijah will be brown. Brown. Yep. Yeah, Jeff. Um... Down all the facts, and uh, we'll store house resort tested. Right. Sweet, let's draw, let's get a distressed and a lawless. And that's looks to yeah. So those those do not work uh, due to Moses not distressing people. <laughs> um, okay, so I think I just use woes to negate all the curses. I guess he's back Aww. over here. Um, yep. So that turns Moses off. Turns distressing people back on. <laughs> Yep. And um, upkeep, or I guess other upkeep. We've got Jerusalem, so let's go ahead and do that. Reveal top Punisher, which goes to my territory. Should and I guess now this time we just get Martyr back. And then I will um, let's play um, yeah, I'll play clinging to power, go to my reserve for Herod Antipas. A pretty stacked territory you get there. I know, right? It's so pretty. King Risen's been chilling over here. What's that? So King Risen's just been over here chilling. <laughs> it's been not playing. Not having to block souls. Um. Well, we'll just give him a shot, I suppose. Um. Let's. I'm not blocking Risen. Right? Um. Well, I mean, I'll give you the option at least. By attacking here, so let's go with. Hmm. Um, let's go with expatriator. We'll negate resin, and I will ban two legion of angels, and I will draw three. Seems pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Ready for this block here? I'm so ready. What you got? Okay, so. You guys aren't protected, right? Uh, they are protected, yes. They're from lone evil characters. Evil characters. They have domination. Can you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, go for it. Uh, Christian Martyr, uh, Legion of Angels. Okay. 
So we'll put them in chamber. Yeah, fall in away. <laughs> it's pretty great. Uh huh. All right. I've been holding them all game. <laughs> put them in chamber. Alrighty. Um, I'll put down an artifact. I'll put down foreign wives. I didn't even cave at all too. I probably should have. But yeah, I was. I was wondering. I was kind of expecting a Goliath, so that was to be. You know, some... <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, lesson learned. Oh yeah. Um, you've got six cards in hand, so that still doesn't work. <laughs> uh, all right, an angel appears. Is I'm just gonna discard that. <laughs> That's not gonna do me any good. Um, and then I'm also going to play Son of God and rescue your crowds. I'll make your grapes even more effective, and I'll pass. Second one. Two, three. Okay. Um. Okay. Cool. I think I'll do storehouse. Um. I think I'm gonna have to get bringing to figure it this time. All right. Seems good. Make you activate that cross next time. <laughs> I guess we I will. should have activated it this last turn. Maybe. What? Okay. Then my neutrals is negated, right? Um. Do you have the resurrection ability? Um, don't. So crown of th or woe is negating crown all the thorns. curses. So crown of thorns is on. Just negating Moses. So yeah. distressing people is also on the getting resurrection regular. I just like how this like relationship works. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, we'll deactivate uh, all the crosses, and we will activate Book of the Law. Mm -hmm. Mount Elijah, I guess. Sure. And we will try this again. <laughs> Someday. All right. Uh, go for it. Okay. I'll play two bands. <laughs> yep. Distressing people. And the outcasts, I suppose. Born lives for gray. Yep. And then I get merchants, right? Dead in there somewhere still. Uh, yeah, merchants would be the only gold, and then you can target foreign horses for brown. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Eight. I suppose distressing people should be shuffled into your deck, not mine. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll ask for Dominish. Oh, come on. What do you got? <laughs> we got yeah, ourselves no. a doubt. Oh, come on. I will add it to battle. Uh, and that makes it mm, stalemate your dish. I feel bad for like putting Covenant with David face down now. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, get, that, get that solid toss okay. for five. Oh, yeah. And then you would just play the one of your enhancements. So. Right. Okay, I'll pass. Um, hmm. Is that worth it? Hmm. Probably not. Yeah, maybe. I don't really like Elijah. He'll be a fan. Yeah. You've him five times. <laughs> sure, let's reserve Elijah. See if you have a way to get him back after yep. shuffling your faith. <laughs> or discarding your faith. 
the resolving. <laughs> Unfortunately, doubt is not a Herod. Fine. Okay, he's he's resolved. Yay. And this guy down. Your time. Alrighty. So we have ten minutes left. I know. <laughs> now. I know now. Um <laughs> start doesn't work. Cool. Man. Your storehouse is killing me here. Storehouse is awesome. I need to bounce my woes and play it as Evil. Oh yeah, go for it. Um, where is it? Like... Uh, okay, so doubt is discarded. Yep. Woes is good, so it will negate. Uh, let's just do book of the law because there's no distressing people anymore. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Um. And then Jerusalem, shuffle, reveal top, outcasts, goes to my reserve. That's probably okay. I will take. Mm, um, I'll take Herod's banquet. And we'll put down merchants. And let's take Expatriator and Legion of Angels from Reserve. And I guess this time we'll commit with the whole team. Go with Expatriator to negate Herdsman. Go with Gabriel to negate Resin. And Legion to protect and draw three. Finding a doll. Pretty good. Seems <laughs> pretty good. Hmm. <laughs> Man, I wish he didn't. Look at my resin. I might actually use them this time. <laughs> I suppose that would have been the battle that people wanted to see. And oh, yeah. Did. Gone. Probably wouldn't have won that battle anyway. <laughs> uh, you play Angel. You probably do. Oh, there's like 11 cards in my deck, and like I need half of them. <laughs> I guess we'll block with Philistine Commanders. Alright. Yeah, I do not have a Philistine Warrior to ban to. Oh, I guess Nor it would be negated by accusers, yeah. I guess Resin would have been negated by accusers anyway, so. Oh, yeah. You do have um. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Um, it's gonna like mess everything up. I want to do <laughs> play three woes. It's evil to negate legion. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, so that puts one, two, three cards back. Still my initiative, right? Yep. I'll play Scattered Sheep. Mm-hmm. All right. They will go to Chamber. All right. And I will... Mm. Let's equip foreign horses to Herod the Great. Oh, wow. Looks pretty good. Yeah. 
And I'll pass the turn. Alright. And likely this will be your second to last turn, I guess, because I went first, right? Uh, yeah, I believe you did. Uh, I needed these cards like when I blocked, so I don't <laughs> need them now. Uh, yeah, I have a plan, but it doesn't work now. Uh, so you needed your woes? <laughs> uh, that and scattered sheep. <laughs> Uh, needed a star card for numerous. <laughs> yes. Nice. <laughs> yes, I'd say tested by fire. Yeah. Seems good. Sure. And we will try. Try, try. We still have that mod too, so. We won't get. Very far. <laughs> my neutrals in the game, so I'll just come in with Jeremiah. Alrighty. Give it a shot. Mm hmm. Would you like to look at my hand? Sure, why not? It does trigger my doll, so. I just, yeah. Uh. Well then. Go grab one of the four cards in my deck. <laughs> Alright, actually, never mind. You have got accuser still. Oh yeah. Well, there you go. Alright. Good to know. Um hmm. Does my fire discards all evil characters in battle? Uh, can't be negated, opposed by a prophet, priest, or magician. Don't have any of those. Um, Alright, let's try... Um, let's do Herod's Executioner. I will equip... Uh, Executioner's sword to Herod Philip the second. I will band to Herod Philip to protect him from opponents, and I will draw three. And I will band to well, I guess Executioner's sword would go before the band, so let's negate your storehouse, and I will uh, discard a hero from your hand. And there are no heroes there. Okay. And okay. And then we'll ban to an evil into gold human, which will be Herod's guard to prevent the next good card played this battle. Exchange with Herod the Great. Hmm, actually. Um, yeah, we'll exchange with Herod the Great, and I will discard a random card from your reserve. Light. Shuffle. And... Uh, reveal, reveal to all top one. No. All right. Yes, and I don't think you've done a search or a draw this turn, have you? Um, he's done Oh, that's right, yeah. Okay, so I can play with foreign horses. Yep. Um, hmm. I will... You've got eight cards in deck. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm going to play Duplicity to play yep. Turn to Egypt from Reserve and hit your top two cards. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, oof. Okay. And then I will place on Jeremiah to take him to my territory. Ooh. And he is not Elijah, so I can't interrupt the battle. Correct. Uh, yep. That's good. Yep. I've yeah. done it. Okay. Do, 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 do. Lay down, Captain the Chariots, and I will pass Ton. Okay. Uh, draw my card. And. Alright. How do we do this? Last turn you get here. No. Uh, so, woes is good. That is going to negate. Um. Guess it'll negate your book of the law. And then I will. I don't have anything to reserve with Jerusalem, so I can't uh, grab anything else from my reserve there. Awesome. Yeah. Um. Let's grab the angels back from chamber. Let's yep. put down foreign wives. Um, hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, definitely should have done that. Oh well. Um, all right, I will go to my rescue. Actually, no, let's let's do that first. All right, let's turn over Crown of Thorns and activate the cross. Nice. And then I will send forth the team. The team. Expatriator will negate uh, commanders. And Gabriel will negate... Um, resin and Legion of Angels will back him up. Seems pretty good. Again, getting resin, Mandas. That's all right. Uh, yes. Well, that also accusers is negating OT humans. It is true. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can really do anything. All your stuff, CBI, CBN, protected. Uh, Legion Angel's too good. <laughs> I mean, CBI and CBN bans with Legion of Angels, I think, is what makes him. You get it. Like, puts him a little over the top. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, really big. 
Yeah. Ain't that gonna be a game? They got it done. But you know what? I'm gonna do <laughs> what people have been waiting for. The moment we've yeah. all been waiting for. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna equip gold shield. Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna <laughs> discard gold shield to convert a human hero in your brigade. Can do Jeremiah, make him silver, match the rest of my uh, rest of my offense here. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna make Moses silver. Uh -oh. Yeah, <laughs> nice. No, no, I'll make I'll make Moses purple. How about that? All right, there you Moses. go. Is that is that still the thing? Is like King Moses now. <laughs> All right. I just this. Uh, yep. What you got? Uh, place chicken to resolve Legion of Angels. Yep. I'll put him in chamber. There you go. And yeah. I'm a 16, 22, and you're also big. Yeah. All right. Um, I will play. See <laughs> what enhancements you have. <laughs> if you haven't played any of this whole game. Oh. Uh, you really haven't played the evil enhancements either. <laughs> I honestly don't have very many good enhancements in here. Um, At least tell me you have some. Well, I do have a couple options here. Uh, I don't remember exactly what other gray enhancements you had. Uh, I think we just start with, with this one. Let's play fourth bowl and let's banish the resin. Okay, yeah, it's gone. Well, I made you fight for it. That's going to be GG. Uh, good game. I, good game. <laughs> if I was more confident, I would have played Scapegoat to, <laughs> to negate Stricken. <laughs> oh, goodness. But no, I was like, uh, just in case I don't get this one, I'm, I need the Scapegoat to right. you know, lock out the differential, I guess, just in case. But... Well, yeah, if you did do that, though, like, Moses is active now, but well, now you have, you have distressed. Yep. Yep. So. If you, if you didn't activate the cross, if I played Chronicles, what did you have? Um, just Scapegoat and Fourth Bull. That's that's all I had. Oh, so it was, like, a block. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I wanted to... I thought it was a good cross on your play. Yeah, I was like, oh yeah, he got the bringing fear too, and like, I mean, I should have played Vain Philosophy on that block when I was negating Storehouse. Yeah. And, yeah. um, I, yeah, I just didn't think about it soon enough. Right. But, well, it was a long game, but it, it was yeah. I think. Yeah. So well, good at all. I was. It, you weren't doing your part in decking out like I was hoping you were going to, because I, so I put in the cross, and then I had a meek legion of angels in reserve, <laughs> and then I had angel party as well. Hey, angel party, that's my card right there. I know, right? That's, I mean, that, that's why I had to do it. There you go. Yep. Yeah, I mean, my defense worked pretty good. My offense didn't do anything this game. Yeah, I mean. My defense. I mean, I think yeah. I think your offense yeah. could have done something in the early turns. Maybe like I didn't have yeah, quite I as much like, defense, but I had like a terrible draw. I didn't yeah. have any enhancements to play on anybody. Yeah. I didn't have a defensive draw either, honestly. Right. But yeah, I think starting out good. without numerous and Matthew or like. Yeah, he didn't have those I, options right away. I had but... Matthew turn two when I'd done the Gabriel abandon the Matthew. Oh, right, yeah. But, and I didn't. I don't think I had Patmos at that point, so I couldn't get, like, soul. Right, I guess yeah. I used Matthew as, like, not me, but 
mm-hmm. is going to get blocked, so I might as well do something with the Book of the Law. To right. Get my wood back and get storehouse, which helped me, you know. Yeah, and I definitely... <laughs> I think I should have played Chronicles in that battle. I should have played it before I blocked, because I, I forgot about the blocked from hand thing. Because then I was like... Because then after you used it to search your deck, even though you got... um You got Storehouse, and I thought about playing it just to, like, keep you from having Storehouse. Right. But I think... I... Uh, even if I negated it there, since Woes was shuffled from the top, it wouldn't go back to your reserve. So... Right. I I should have played it and then blocked. But I was thinking I should wait until you have to or until you play an enhancement or something and then right. and then drop it. Yeah. So yeah, that was So let, let's see if I play. could get like a block a get a soul here. <laughs> if if I did All get right. another one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have the cross active. Yep. Uh so I just use three waves on the cross. Right. You get it. I drew just dressing people back, so you get that. <laughs> nice. Opens and, up your reserve, I guess, and your neutral cards, so that's good. Yeah. And I get to play numerous through Bill One. You get it was of you get <laughs> Elijah. <laughs> yep. And then I Elijah the distressing people, baby. <laughs> there, yep. you know. there it is. I'm just but... gonna angel. Get it um, oh, that's right. Yep, because he was the cross. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was the cross. And I guess I could have tossed this yeah, if he still had a cross. So. Oh, sure. Yep. That would have gotten, that, gotten it. Though. That would have gotten it. Elijah would oh, have yeah. finally gotten it done. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I you also, would... I put in Covenant with Eden, too, because I wasn't playing that many dual alignment stuff, but neither were you. So yeah. So I was, didn't think that would really be worth it. Like, I mean, most of the game, I think it only would have hurt me because it would have been negating Jerusalem. Right. So. Yeah, it would have. Yeah, I like, I like your deck. Then. Thank you. Yeah, it was a little. Angel bands, pretty tough. Yeah, I think I I I will admit, like I was kind of lucky to have Expatriator and Legion of Angels in my first eight. Like that's. Yeah. There are. Well, I yeah, think exactly like five heroes good. in the deck. Really. And I had. had wow. Yeah, I think it's these four. Um, such as oh yeah, yeah, and then magnifying multitude, and then I guess you, justice you, seekers. But you know, you get a little hero draw than I did, and I don't have like ten in my deck. I yeah, think I, I started with uh, Angel of the Winds. So he just set my hand all game. Oh sure. And anybody else? I think it was this Angel of the Winds to start off with. Then I drew the Watchman Matthew, I think. No, I drew Gabriel. Oh, yeah. Off of Watchman instead. Right, yep. Yeah. But you didn't have any souls, so right. that was fine. And, yeah. <laughs> Angel of the Winds and Watchman against Sheol doesn't typically uh-huh. work doesn't out do too much. well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I think I was... I initially started out with like Priest of Zeus and then uh, High Priest Ananias and Heritor Grip of the Second in here to get like a little bit of the black splash. Mm-hmm. But I, I think that there just aren't enough add to battle options outside of Sheol for, for Herods. Right. And, you know, I think like. Um, yeah, Tyler Tyler kind of confirmed that with me. I was like, hey, I'm thinking about playing this defensive heavy deck, and he was like, yeah, you, you need shield there. And I was like, yeah, you're, I think you're right. So, right. so I, I even it's considered so Unknown Nation, too. But, yeah, I like Unknown Nation. It's 
Yeah. Uncut. Yeah, I just wish there was like another place to activate it. Like we need Pithum back in rotation. No Pith. <laughs> Did you like uh, have anything in your opening hand that like stopped like super aggro decks? Um. I thought about running like circus. I. Hmm. Little Vegas. I I was one of those two. I was thought about. Right. Um. Sort of thing. I don't. I mean, I don't think I had any like dominant answers. I had falling away. I think you had Chronicles in you. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah, I did have Chronicles too. Yep. 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 Gotta play it full and so, prep. Right. Yeah. If you caught on to what I was doing. Right. And you would have pretty quickly. Yeah. If you had. I played like, meek Noah down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. I was gonna say if you played down Noah as meek, then yeah, <laughs> Chronicles is coming down. Yeah. Um, had it fallen away. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Let's see. You put down. It was the, oh yeah, you put down Gabriel. That was the first hero, and like I thought about just dropping the falling away to underdeck him there, and like kind of just hope that yeah you didn't have anything there. I mean, especially because he banded to my dudes, but I was like, yeah, I can also ban to him, and I have other blocking options. So yeah, definitely wasn't super worried about it, but definitely a consideration. I definitely like the cross and. Meek Legion over here. Yeah, <laughs> I was, I was, uh, because I was, have to be alone, Meek, it's just a Meek hero. Right. Successful in yep, and I, yeah. I was showing Tyler the deck, he was like, oh, you know, I like the offense, because he had, like, just posted his, uh, like, Philistine defensive heavy deck, which I, yeah. I think he's got a video on it now and everything, um, and I was like, all right, well, I gotta show him what, what I've been working on then. And uh, he he liked the offense, like with the angels, and I I mean I think it's definitely uh, a powerful like compact offense, especially with chamber, just to you know recycle them. And yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, but do I want to splash in like a Simon or something for the cross? And then I was like, wait a second, it doesn't say human NT hero. Like, <laughs> yeah. I can use That's another Legion of Angels, so. There you go, buddy. Yep. It's definitely. I mean, I guess you would have to watch out for, like, Shipwreck or something if you put all your angels in chamber. Right, yeah. Yeah, that's one so, of the things, I think, to watch out for. Right if you get, like, that that first turn, Gabriel, like, Shipwreck is probably the, uh, the go-to for a deck like this. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I, I don't have authority for Christ in this deck. I I didn't remember seeing it when I looked through your deck with Gabriel, so I was like, well, it might be in his hand, but I'd, I don't know. It doesn't, okay. I, I don't, okay. yeah, I, I was expecting that if you had it in the deck that it would have been in your reserve. Or like, yeah. it, just looking at the deck, like, you know, you're kind of mostly green, so. Yes, green was like, I'm hoping to do like a Matthew speed thing. Sure, and, yeah. I suppose yeah, you got Peter and... Like, yeah. Yeah, it's in this deck like the balls are in like Ezekiel and you get rid of the hand pretty quick. Right. But, yeah, Ezekiel is a cherubim. And cherubim you either decide if you want to toss buy by the numbers or draw, pretty much. Right. Or choose the blocker. It, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cherubim can go to Gabriel and Gabriel can still offense it. And that's kinda of what I had in mind with this. I just threw it together. Sure, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I wonder... Something like, um... Uh... I mean, like, even just putting the Annunciation into there might be kind of sweet, because then you can just keep on, um... getting it back with Gabriel. Yeah. Just like, yeah. So you just go cool. Ezekiel, Cherubim, Annunciation. I don't know. Maybe you don't have sure. enough nativity heroes to like make it worth it otherwise, but True. Sure. And Gabriel's just get the snipe evil cards out of your deck, yeah. You know? Right, yeah. You if, top deck him with Cherubim that. and then reserve him. Yeah. If you're not running Jerusalem, yeah. Right. <laughs> I really like how Jerusalem just get you to like the dominance and stuff. 
Right. Yeah. That was, that was conveniently. Nice. I mean, it's but. like a, it's a, I think it's a little bit, it's like a better version of Sea of Glass because like Sea yeah. of Glass feels like a good card, but it's just kind of slow and it takes up your artifact slot. Whereas you know, Jerusalem, yeah. it incorporates some selection and you know sits by itself. Right. So plus the utility, I mean, especially in a defense heavy deck where you know if I'm relying a lot on like Herod the Great for blocks and you find a way to get rid of him, then you know getting that right. the resurrect right. ability on there is uh pretty neat. Yeah. One thing this offense doesn't do well is like handle the heavy decks very well. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, if you if you run humans, you know, I get the fallen away Elijah play. Yep. I just did have you have like the band together. Yeah. Yeah, I think um I think the the battle winners feel a little uh like you're you're relying a lot on your heroes to put in the work, and oh, yeah. you know against a, a defensive heavy deck, it's going to be more difficult, I guess, for your your heroes to do yeah. that. So yeah, I can yeah. profits have a lot of really good heroes and a lot of options, uh, but yeah, the enhancements okay. are a little. Yeah. What was that? And especially against Herod, because like if you do like this ban, but Moses is just going to get blocked super right. easily. Yeah, yeah. There's so much CBN and CBP in Herod's. It's crazy. Yeah, like I found that out against Chad when I played him. You know, he was running like a Herod's defense, not a big one like he did. But yeah, that's. I think that's why I was able to punch there because it wasn't as big as your defense. Mm-hmm. And my dominance worked more. <laughs> yeah. Sure. All right. Well, thank you, sir, for the game. No problem. I'm glad thank you were you. able to work with my schedule here. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fine. I'm very flexible all the time. Sweet. Yeah, I just had a super busy weekend, so. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a fun game, and uh hope it goes well. We might meet in Top Cut. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's see. Is this... How many rounds are we doing? This is three of five, right? Five, yeah. Uh, two more. All right, sweet. All right, well, we'll see you there. Hopefully, oh. probably not yeah. going to be playing this deck, <laughs> but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. All right, man, you have a good night. Yeah, you too. See ya.